weather stations around the world use weather balloons to send up radio sounds to the sky every day. It goes all the way to like 35 kilometers. On the way up, it's measuring very critical atmospheric data, uh, such as wind speed, wind direction, humidity, temperature, pressure. But once uh, the balloon reaches 35 kilometers, it bursts. The radio sound drops back to the ground using a small parachute. And then it will land somewhere, and usually it lands somewhere remote, so that people cannot go and pick it up, and they are left there forever. This is a big problem if you think about the long term. There are 1,300 weather stations around the world, each of them releasing two to four weather balloons every day. When they drop in uh, areas such as like oceans, there are like certain birds, uh, albatrosses, that uh, become entangled in these radio sounds. Uh, instead of uh, radio sounds uh, being single-use and uh, disposed and polluting the environment, uh, we have uh, invented a device that is uh, reusable and you can actually uh, guide it to collection points to be reused again. Our design is inspired by maple seeds. No matter which direction you throw it, or no matter how you throw it, it will enter this state called autorotation, where it gracefully glides to the ground. We tried to copy this design into these shapes. We actually added a flap so that we can control the direction of the descent. Radio sounds can be recollected because it can be landed in a collectible zone. Hello, D Daniel and Shane. Oh. Uh, it's James Dyson here. I thought it was a brilliant idea. It's solving a real problem. Anyway, I wanted to say that you're the winners of the Sustainability James Dyson Award. <laughs> that is incredible. Okay. Actually, we were very shocked uh, to see him on a video call. Quite humbling like to see someone as important as uh, James Dyson, spending the time to look through the inventions from all these young inventors and selecting the winner himself. I, I feel like it's very touching and very humbling moment for us.